In this section, we're going to show you how to install the rear wheel on the ETX 8R. The wheel's set up. I've got a space on either side of the rear wheel to show the axle between the black and the gray non-turn washers. This section right in here will fit into the dropout. I also have the brakes here opened up with our quick release, which is right there. There's the clamping them shut, and here's the quick release. I'm going to raise the wheel up into the slot, and I'm going to pull this chain back and wrap it around that sprocket. Okay, chain goes around the sprocket like that. And this little shifter arm is going to face forward because that's where this is going to fit into. All right, now with the shifter arm facing forward and the chain wrapped around this, I'm going to make sure my non-turn washers are free. And I'm going to lift this up and slide it into the dropouts on both sides. And pull it back in, making sure my chain is taut like that. Then I'm going to use my 15 millimeter wrench and I'm going to tighten these acorn nuts down to make the chain nice and tight. Okay, so I'm going to push the wheel from that end. Chain's taut. Tighten this side and then tighten this side over here. Back on this side, nice and tight. Now all we have to do is put the shifter cable in. Here's our shifter cable. Here's our clamping nut at the very end. This is going to fit into that little slot right there. To get that to fit into the little slot, I take my two millimeter Allen wrench and put it in that small hole and rotate this down from the nine o'clock position to the six o'clock position. This little clamping screw slides into that slot just like that. Okay, now I'm going to let this go back up to the nine o'clock position. You'll notice the cable fits right into a groove. All right, I can pull my two millimeter Allen wrench out. The last thing I have to do is to slide this cable through this little slot underneath here and put this ferrule into that little holder there at the end of the arm. Okay, it's in, cable's around, the entire wheel's assembled. Attaching the ETX 8R hub and wheel into the rear end triangle is fairly simple. Okay?